In this lecture, I will show you how to automatically create a build for any of these platforms, whether it's iOS, Android, or a PC web player, or macOS, or even Linux, and many more to come. First of all, I want you to understand that you don't need to own a Mac computer to target iOS or OS X. The reason why is that um, Unity already takes care of it for you. However, if you want to be able to build for iOS and OS X, you will have to have a developer license from Apple. Now, if you already have one, you can always go back to the developer center, um, the Apple one, which is developer.apple.com. Once you're there, go to the member center, create in the a certificate, an identifier, and a provisioning profile. Now, I have other courses, or you can check it on YouTube how to do that, but this is beyond the, the, the course here. At this point, you should know how to do that. And as you can see, the certificate, identifier, and provisioning profile to sign, code sign your app. Then choose iOS or choose Android if you want to target Android. Then select a branch. By the way, this is very important. The reason why you want to create Git branches is that you want to have different setup. When you're inside of Unity and you select the build settings, make sure you select iOS if you want to do it for iOS. As an example here, I'm inside of Unity. I go to File, Build Settings. And here, if I want to develop for iOS, I need to select iOS and switch platform. Once this is done, you have to go back to the Git repository and make sure you commit your changes to the Git repository and um, the um, cloud will pick it up automatically. All right, back to the cloud. So default iOS on the master and then choose the latest version of Unity and auto build, leave it on for now. Then, uh, by the way, the auto build, every time you just push to the repository, it will automatically try to build it. Next, put your credentials. And, um, uh, okay, the name is already in use. Yeah, I have to change it too because I already used that. So uh, test iOS. Um, by the way, here you, you will be asked your bundle ID, which is the one that you're using in your iTunes Connect account and also the one that you're using within Unity. And inside Unity, under Build Settings, again, you go to Player Settings, and then here, locate the Apple, and you will see that you have your product name, company name, and then um, use your uh, bundle ID inside of other settings. You see the bundle identifier here, that's the one you need to have the same one here, and there as well inside of the cloud. So I'm just gonna paste it, they need to match. Now the Xcode version, the latest is usually good, then you need to add your provisioning profiles and you get these provisioning profiles from the developer center right here. Here they are, you can download them, all right? So make sure you select yours and click on download. That's how you would do. Same thing for the provisioning. You would go to, um, to provisioning profile, you click on one and download and then you can use them there as well, okay? All right. Oh, by the way, also they are asking for the um, for the P12 certificate and the password. To create that, you have to go to your keychain. Or, um, yes, so let me do it here. Keychain, access. Now that's only if you have a Mac here, but there's other ways to do that, even though you may not have a Mac. And you can select any of your distributioning profile and do file export. That's how you would do it. And that would create your P12. As you can see, it says P12. All right. Okay, and then you just basically follow the steps right here, add your credentials and next, and it will build. That's it at this point. This is what you would do for iOS. Now, there's not just iOS. You can go back to uh, the project home and locate other builds. There's uh, plenty of others. Um, you can also do it for, um, for Android as well. And the process is very similar. Um, you just have to, uh, to follow the cloud build and um, and as you can see, they will always ask you for um, for your uh, your provisioning profiles and identifiers. All right.